Savannah, what are you doing? Oh, um, we're shooting some content. So I'm setting up some suits. I'm actually putting them away because we just saw a bunch of videos for YouTube, which are coming soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? What's that suit? I love that suit. Ooh. Whoa, what's going on there? It's a Nova. It's one of my favorites. Someone special is wearing it. Ooh. So um, mm. it's, it's blue crystals on mm. red suit, which is going to look purple on stage. It's <laughs> going to look so pretty. And it's one of my favorites. So, if you need help designing, you know who to call. Yes. So, Savannah here is doing amazing on her diet because, yeah. let me tell you something, she arrived here and uh, did not give in to any temptations on food, so Coach Adam would be proud. What are you eating here? Go ahead and show. Get, get it out of the okay, fridge. So she's such a good competitor. Like, she's sticking with her diet 100%. Okay. Even on the road. Yeah, even on the road. Like, I brought my water in my gallon jug, and then we're, I mean, it, it's low calories because I'm on prep. So we're eating lots of protein and lots of vegetables. So we have these, which are really good. So these are the muscle egg, um, and they're just like little omelet pancakes. So I can eat these as like a protein snack. And then I have some chicken, the trifecta chicken. So I eat like five ounces, like four or five times a day, and then have about like a cup of vegetables with them. We can't forget the veggies. Um, I broccoli, of course, more black broccoli, um, and then some rice cauliflower. So those are just some of the things that I've brought with me on prep. I also bring protein powder and like nut butter packets. Those are really easy to travel with and I always pre-bag everything. I have some BCAAs, I always bring a shaker just to travel with and I bring my scale just to weigh everything out and stay on track while you're competing on the road and traveling. Good stuff, so how many weeks out are you? Um, this Saturday I'll be 10. 10 weeks out and it's the J Cutler Classic, right? Yes. So here in Vegas. Here in Vegas, so it's April 9th, J Cutler Desert Classic. It's my first show back since 2020 and I have to get top two to hopefully qualify for nationals and then I'm planning to do nationals May 13th, 14th for Junior USA's in May. Ooh, so exciting. What are you getting ready for? Maybe a show Maybe next show. weekend, we'll see. <laughs> And then for the seminar, so I'm actually here for the seminar. So there's an all women's conference. I'm super excited because like the top all female athletes of the entire industry, Sandy, you, like all the different pros are getting to talk and like tell me tips because I'm trying to go pro. So I want to know how do I become a pro and get some like posing tips and just like what they're looking for. So I'm excited for Saturday. Good morning. I'm really tired. So I looked good last night and I was going to record a little sit down YouTube video vlog, but I thought why not wait until the morning when I look like crap and then I can give you guys an update. So today um, it's January 27th, I think. It's Friday. Um, the lighting's really good here. So um, I'm in Vegas. Um, I had like the best day ever um yeah it was like really hard I didn't I was like what just happened I'm like what just happened right now um how is my life real why do I like how is this a job like how how is life real right now so um yesterday I flew to Vegas because it's um it's technically for work but I wanted to come here anyway um the all women's seminar is happening this Saturday where it's like 350 of us from the NPC and IFBB are getting together and they're sharing stories and information about judging and it's headed by Sandy Williamson, IFBB pro, head judge and Olympian, um, head judge Sandy. And then there's like every female coach or anyone that's a female in the industry of bodybuilding is going to be there. Like Ashley Kay, Jennifer Dory, Janet, Lily, everybody is going to be there um, and I'm going to be there too so there's going to be all females and it's going to be so much fun it's an all day event um, and it's ex like it's exclusive they had to cut it off at like 350 or something and there's like a 300 person wait list like it's a it was a big interest um, and so I came out a little bit early because me and Ashley Coltwasser you guys might have known her she's one of our sponsored athletes with the Angel Competition Bikinis and she's also three time Miss Bikini Olympia um, one to shoot some YouTube videos for my YouTube channel and for her YouTube channel too. 
so I came in early and yesterday Ashley picked me up from the airport and then we went to do, do stairs so I was doing cardio, we did cardio together um, and then we just went back and shot some content all day long and it was so much fun. And like Ashley is this, like the kindest human I've ever met in my entire life. Like she's like, what do you need? Do you need any food? Like do you need muscle leg? Do you need protein? She's like, I have trifecta, like I have all this stuff and she just like, just took care of me it was so like I wanted to take care of her and so she just was like okay you have you know we got your workout covered and you know we're gonna do you want any content like do you want me to take pictures for Instagram for you and I was like sure <laughs> you know like I'm supposed to be here shooting you and making you feel special um but just such a kind person and you know we're teammates so we're coached by um, Coach Adam on Team Elite Physique. So we shot some content for you guys. You guys are gonna see this throughout. Um, I might post some behind the scenes on my channel in this in this video, like somewhere in here. Um, but then throughout the next couple of weeks, it's gonna take me some time to edit because we shot a lot of vivid videos. So my YouTube channel, it'll be probably on her YouTube channel a little bit, and Angel Competition Bikini's YouTube channel. It's just like first time competitor tips. Um, yeah, so we kind of just like talk about some tips. We talk about like what to pack on show day. So it's like all stuff that I do um, that if you're watching this new competitor that you need that information. So anyway, we did that all day yesterday. It was so much fun. Like I love shooting YouTube videos. It was just a good time, like super, super fun. And then we went to the Contest Prep Center here in Vegas. We ran into Coach Adam. I got to see the podcast room, their new podcast room. And I'm a podcaster myself. So I was just very impressed at like what podcasts at a high level do so I'm like I need to step up my game for mics and stuff like that um angel competition bikinis we literally started a podcast this week too so there's so many exciting things going on um and I'm staying this is the bathroom the lighting's really good here so um I'm in the Alexis Park Hotel um today's Friday and then the Saturday because I'm not our Saturday and I'm leaving Sunday um and I'm on prep too so I'm literally cooking some muscle egg right now um and it's low I'm on my, I'm on low calories this week um I think I'm like 144 pounds or something like that um so I need to have another big week in order to keep trending but coach Adam you know he saw me he's like you know you look good it's just like you look pretty lean like this far out which is really good to hear um and he's on board for me literally prepping all year long and just like doing a show um probably like once a month uh, once I start so it's like I plan to compete once a month starting in April and just going until I'm done, which would probably be, oh my gosh, my hair, I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna look better later on in this video, but um, I'm probably gonna, I wanted to stop by September depending on how things go, like if I'm getting really tired, I wanna be on off season for the holidays and honestly, it's hard enough to stay on plan, but I wanna be able to have less structured routine during the holidays and I know you're probably like oh my gosh that's that's crazy but I know it's just a meal for like Thanksgiving and stuff but it's important to have that time with my family and so I just really want to make sure that I'm done competing by probably September um I'll do North Americans if I have to I'm planning to do every national show it takes so if I have to do North Americans I'll do North Americans in September and if I don't get my pro card by then um I'll just prep and do nationals nationals is so hard and if you don't get it it's like ugh. but it just depends like if i'm getting top call outs and i'm really close like i'm gonna keep going if i'm in last call outs in september then i'm probably just gonna take some time off and then come back next season so i have a very strategic plan this year and i've never had something like that so it's kind of cool that i'm like all right i'm doing the things like i already know I don't know if I've shared with you guys. I already know I'm going to be competing at the Jay Cutler Desert Classic April 9th um, here in Vegas. And then uh, May, if I get qualified for top two at that show, then I'm going to go and do Junior USA's. And then if, you know, if I go pro at <laughs> Junior USA's, I'm done. It's probably not going to happen, so I'm being realistic. So I'm most likely going to compete in June. I think it's Universe. I don't exactly remember the exact order, but whatever national shows in June, I'm going to be there. And then USA is back in um, July, which I think it's back here in Vegas. Probably undo that one. Um, and then August, um, Nashville Fit Show. I'm doing that even if it's, even if I'm a amateur still. So I'm doing that one. And then September is North Americans. And then 
I don't think there's another national show until uh, uh, nationals, uh, NPC nationals in like November, or December, and then Olympia. So I'm going. I'm just like traveling a lot and it's kind of like overwhelming, but it's going by so fast and it's like so much to look forward to and I'm just so grateful. So if you guys are watching this, stay tuned for a couple behind the scenes clips of some YouTube videos. If you guys have any um, stuff that you want to see, let me know, but I gotta go eat some muscle egg and then I have my other suit stylist, Deb. She's like my other half at ACB, so she's coming today and then one of our other athletes rachel tara she's coming i think today or tomorrow i don't remember but they're staying with us um staying in party room party room in the hotel and um dead's in off season i think rachel is in off season maybe she's on prep i don't know um i'm on prep too so i have literally nothing i'm eating i'm eating vegetables and protein and a little bit of carbs and that's that's it so it's pretty rough i brought my water i'm like parched i talked a lot yesterday uh, i'm gonna start editing some of those youtube videos so today's plan is to do cardio and train legs i was exhausted yesterday so i did my 40 minutes of cardio yesterday which was thursday so i today is my last technical day that i need to do cardio but i'm probably gonna do cardio today and for sure on sunday because my steps are going to be pretty high from all this activity. I only need to do five times a week of 40 minutes. So today technically will be my last day of cardio of the week. But I just know that I'm going to hold some water from traveling and like flying. So I need to do extra cardio. Um, and then I took a rest day from training yesterday. I was going to train, but then I got really tired. And so I was like, I've been up since 3 a.m. Because I, oh, I forgot to tell you about my luggage situation. This is a long talky part, but anyway, so I almost missed my flight yesterday. Um, it was at 5.30 in the freaking morning is when it left, and so it boarded at 5. So my brain was like, okay, you know, I only need two hours. So I went like 5.30, if the plane takes off at 5.30, I need to be there by 5 because that's when it's boarding. So two hours would be fourth, like I went two hours from the time it took off because I didn't calculate the math until the day before I went. So it was like 5.30 minus an hour, 4.30 minus an hour, 3.30. So I set my alarm to wake up at 3.30. So that was two hours before, but I didn't calculate in my brain that I probably should be there earlier. I was like, whatever, it's fine. And I live 52 minutes away from the airport. So I'm, I woke up at 3.30. <laughs> all ready to go and I thought you know I'm just gonna grab my stuff it literally took me like 15 minutes to get ready which isn't that long and I already was packed so it's like 3:45, and I'm on the road so it takes me an hour to get to the airport and park so it's like 4:45. and okay fun facts if you check your luggage in less than 45 minutes away which I was literally at the 45 minute mark so it was stupid but if you check your luggage in under 45 minutes they cannot guarantee it will make it with you to the plane even though the plane hasn't taken off yet the luggage guys come and get the luggage for the plane and like load it up like 45 minutes before and i'm like what this lady was like oh she put a special late luggage tag on mine and she was like oh you're late girl you're late i was like no i'm not i'm not late i was like there's 45 minutes there's no one waiting in line i'm literally gonna go check in my security, get wanded down or whatever, and like still have 45 minutes. I'm like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I've never been this late to a flight. Normally I get there like an hour early. And she was stressing me out. So I'm like, okay, I need to shoot with Ashley. She's coming to pick me up so we can do this all day. I was like, everything I need for us to shoot is in my bag. And like, if I don't have that bag, I'm like, I literally can't do anything. And so I'm freaking out. And guess what? It was the first bag off of the like in Vegas. I'm like sitting there. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wait for all the bags. If mine's not there, I guess I come back later on today because it flies out with another flight. And then I go and it was a first freaking bag off. So it must have been like the one of the last bags on there and was one of the first ones off. So it worked out really convenient. And off I went on my way. And I always try to have a positive mindset. So even though she said that, I was like, this bitch i was like no it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine and it was all fine it worked out good so that was my day yesterday and i was up since like 3 30 in the morning and i just went home after it was like 7 30 i was like so tired i ate my last meal and then i kind of crawled in bed and i started watching tiktoks and then 
but then I woke up this morning <laughs> and I was like, oh, I was really tired. Um, so today I am gonna probably just do a leg day today. Um, and then tomorrow is the, the event. And so I know that if I train shoulders, it's really fast. So I'll probably do shoulders tomorrow. Um, and that'll only take me like 30 minutes. So I might have to wake up early and go find a cardio machine. There's a gym here that I'm gonna go check out. And I was looking around, I was like, they have, okay, so if you're in Vegas, they have like fancy gyms that you've seen on like your favorite influencers pages, you know, in Vegas. And I have no desire to go to those. Like I want to see nobody. Like I don't want to see, like when I'm focusing on it, like I don't even like to record myself working out. Like I want to be a nobody at the gym and I just want to like put my headphones on, put a hoodie on and just like, do some cardio, sweat, and be able to focus and not be like, oh my God, there's a celebrity I follow on Instagram. I have to go really hard right now. It's like, that's too stressful for me. So I'm kind of introverted. So like this seminar, it's there's gonna be like 300 of us and that stresses me out a little bit because I'm kind of like, not the most social butterfly that's ever walked the planet and I'm I'm excited because this is stepping outside my comfort zone you know and like making me social and I I will talk you guys obviously know I talk all day to you and on my podcast I love talking if you get me going especially for competing I can talk for days and days and days it's all I do I live it I breathe it I do it for work it's it's a whole thing like I love it um but sometimes I get nervous I don't know you know so yeah but I'm really excited so Stay tuned for the rest of this vlog. It's my Vegas vlog. And then my um, my family lives here. So my, my aunt and uncle and grandma live here. So I'm having dinner with them tonight. And she's making me healthy meals. So I appreciate her. Just accommodating for me. Makes me feel very good. And then they are catering breakfast and lunch for like healthy stuff um, tomorrow. And then dinner is on our own. And then I fly out early on Sunday and I will not miss my flights. So <laughs> I fly out like 10, 9.50. 9.50 on Sunday, so I want to get there at least two hours ahead. It's like 15 minutes, so 9.50, so 10 minus two hours would be like eight, so I need to leave here by like 7, 30, 7, 7.30. I'm getting there early. I just want to walk around. Uh, I don't gamble. I don't gamble. I don't know how to gamble, and I don't want to risk money. That's just stupid, so I don't do any gambling or anything like that, um, but today we are going to pretty much the only goals I have is to work out and do cardio and eat dinner. That is the only goals that I have for today. Um, I think I, I literally think I forgot to upload my podcast. I'm literally just thinking about all the things I forgot to do and I forgot to do that. So I'm going to go upload a podcast that I have recorded. I'm going to go eat um, and then we can go train and I'll touch back with you guys later on. But don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next clip. So I just took some vitamins and then I'm having some muscle egg and some asparagus for, I already had a muscle egg, but I was just kind of like hungry. So I'm like, all right, it's not even that many calories. It's just like pure protein. So I'm doing a little egg white and then spinach. And I had a rice cake. I did have some carbs today. My carbs are like 50 grams. So um, it's really low. So I feel really flat. Um, it's 9.22 and um I'm in a little workout set, so we're gonna go find the gym here. Um, there's a Planet Fitness like 3.5 miles away if the gym here sucks, so I might do that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat some muscle egg and some asparagus. I'm gonna start drinking my water. I haven't had any water. This is my BCAAs, and I got this bang cup at Olympia for free. Shout out to Bang. You wanna sponsor me? I love Bang Energy. I'm a little tired. I forgot to bring pre-workout. So I need to find some energy drink with me. So I'm gonna probably take my bag and go explore for the gym scene and get some cardio at 40 minutes. I straightened my hair a little bit, but like when I sweat, it's gonna get curly. So I didn't do it very good. So that way like later on today, I can like fully straighten it so it's ready for tomorrow. And then that's it. So I will see you guys in just a bit. 
Hi guys, so I am back from training. It's kind of like a little celebrity moment going on. So I was in this gym at the Alexis State Park Hotel. And let me tell you who I saw while I was at the gym hotel and there's no one in it. I didn't think there would be anyone because it's like a shitty gym. There's like a lot of Vegas gyms that I think all the athletes will go to. But I was like, there's no one gonna be there. I wanna go there. So on my way, I saw Kim Odo, so body by O. Kim Odo, saw Sandy, saw JM, saw Jessica Delias, one of our athletes, um, saw, saw Etila Santiago, one of my girl crushes, um, saw um, Tyler, one of the head judges. So like they were all in this little area and I saw Tamer, one of the um, promoters. So it was like a little celebrity moment. So I'm like, oh, everybody's coming in. I need to go put on makeup so they don't see me looking ratchet. So I like didn't want them to like see me because I was on the treadmill inside and like I was out like just watching outside and people were coming and going. And so I'm like, wait a minute, I know that person and that person and that person. So yeah, I need to put on some makeup and make sure I look good because we're gonna be running into some people. Okay, everyone, we're going to get started here a little bit. Oh no, my camera's going to die. That's but real quick, as we go through the day, though, I just want it to be a comfortable setting. So get up and get coffee to keep yourselves awake. I don't care. You know, like I said, I don't want it to be this super formal <laughs> seminar. I want it to be real quick. You just got to keep in mind that that's temporary. You know, we're trying to reach... Like whatever goal you have, you have to build more muscle. You need to increase your calories. You need to be a little bit, you know, have a little bit like a bulkier look. And that is a wrap of the 2022 All Women's Seminar and my Vegas trip. I literally cannot communicate. Like, it was so much fun. I literally had, the, like, the best weekend of my entire life. If you guys are at all thinking about co attending this event, they are for sure doing another one next year. And I will for sure be there next year. And hopefully I'll be there as a pro. Um, if I if you are there, comment below. I know I didn't get to meet a lot of you. Um, but it was just so much fun. Like, I just am so grateful for this life. All of those hard gym sessions and everything that I go through on prep, getting to be a part of this community, it is 100% worth it. The biggest lesson that I learned from attending this seminar was seriously just keep showing up, keep learning, keep attending these events and just keep getting better and just take time and realize, you know, it's not going to happen overnight, but if you stay dedicated and you work hard, you can, you know, achieve your dreams and good things will happen to those who work hard. So just, you know, just keep going. And I'm so excited for you guys to follow my journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys all so, 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 so much. I am so lucky and blessed to have each and every single one of you guys liking and commenting on on my stuff. Um, get ready for some more behind the scenes and stuff of my prep. We are getting to be nine I think I'm going to be nine or eight weeks out pretty soon. So pretty exciting. We are getting closer to stage. I can't wait for you guys to follow along. Have a great rest of your week. I love you guys so much. Bye.